Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can keep the top rows of your data in view as you scroll down your sheets. So let's take a look. So here we've got a data set that starts on the fourth row. So we have column headers in our fourth row. And then just above that, if we scroll over, we can see that we've got some totals above in row two. And currently, if we scroll down, then we're gonna lose view of those column headers and also the totals there. So let's take a look at some of the ways that we can keep these in view. So the first method that we're gonna take a look at is using a table to contain our data set. And this is gonna allow us to keep the column headers in view. So we can add our data set into a table. If we go up to the insert tab, and click on the table command. That's gonna select our data for us. And here we're gonna leave this option checked. My table has headers. So that's gonna add our first row into the column headers of our table. Let's press okay. And now our data set is inside our Excel table. And if we have our table selected, so here's our active cell inside the table. And now we scroll down, you'll notice that the column headers remain visible at the top. Now the next method we're gonna take a look at is also going to allow us to keep the totals in view as well as the column headers. So if we go up to the view tab, then we've got this option here, freeze panes. And for this, we just need to place our active cell cursor just below the area that we want to keep in view. And so now if we go to freeze panes, and freeze panes again. Then now if we scroll in our workbook, those top rows are gonna remain visible. Now this is also going to allow us to keep columns visible as well. So let's just go back up to our freeze panes and we can unfreeze the panes. And now if we place the active cell cursor here, then any columns to the left are also going to be frozen. So let's go back to freeze panes and freeze panes. And now if we scroll to the right, then that date column remains visible, as well as if we scroll down, our top four rows remain visible as well. Let's go back and unfreeze these panes. And the last option we're gonna take a look at is to split our window into four different views. So again, up in the view tab, we have this option here to split, and that's gonna add in this crossbar to our window. And we can click and drag this around, and it's going to give us four different scrollable views in our workbook. So for example, we can scroll down, and the top part remains in view, or we can scroll to the right and our left columns are gonna remain in view. And so let's click and drag this up to just show the top couple rows and the first column. And if we wanna remove this split view, we just need to go back to the view tab and click on the split command again, and that's gonna remove it from our sheet. So there you go, that's three different ways that we can keep items in view as we scroll throughout our workbook. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.